Hello everyone and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Uh, I suppose we should go to the tracking station first, huh? Just to bring folks up to date, in the last episode, we were working on setting up, setting, sending a relay out, and unfortunately there were some issues on my end with recording this, so there's actually three of them, and this is one that was launched in the last episode. I don't want to fly that thing, darn it. Uh, tracking station, there we go. But, we got this set up, and this one is almost in geosynchronous orbit. So, yeah, that was an accomplishment. Eventually, at some point, we need to have four satellites in that orbit, but I thought for today, what we could do, if everything will finish loading, is go ahead and throw together, well, let's, let's base it on a spacecraft we actually have. The outer saved, uh, comes in, turn to L5, I am, Kerbal 1, Kerbal 1 dot, Windows 5, Kerbal 2, Kerbal X, Zoostar, the relay, that's just that part, okay. Hmm. Well, cancel. We are going to be launching a little spaceship. Which is going to stay in orbit indefinitely. So, nope. I don't think any that much for us used it. Well, nope, not that size. Um, this one? Yeah, that thing. Some RCS. A battery. Give him a battery. Slap some, uh, uh RCS thrusters on this thing. Like so. Maybe throw a solar panel in there. That one. There's a solar panel, and if you'll notice, no, this is not designed to be able to ever return to the surface. Uh, let's see. Uh, payload, nope. Coupling, that's what we want. My loaves. Not the tank. No, no, it's not that. Ah. Okay, maybe not that one. Uh, what well, is definitely not that. Uh, ah, there it is. Lot of tis. Couple it. Come on, line up. Couple of those and the LTV 45. Which is not going to be enough to get this thing into orbit. So. Another way of those. Uh, ah, there it is. One, two, another in, in Jan, down at the bottom. Mm. Of course, we're going to need some fins to get it up. there three fins there yeah that'll work and perhaps uh, radio a couple of oh, so that's what like like so for some solid rocket boosters. I guarantee you this thing is getting into orbit. I think I need to lift it. Come on. Up a little bit, maybe. There. Uh, 
Let's see, anything else we're gonna need? Mm -hmm. Eh, what the heck, since it's gonna be in orbit, let's go ahead and throw a... Uh, let's throw a small... Uh, throw a dish on it. Nah, I don't think it's gonna need any of those. Science, don't really care. Utility, don't care. Jeb's going up there and he's staying up there. <laughs> My cursor went up too far. Save. Bye, Jeb. <laughs> hmm, should put this up higher. Some Go burn up in the atmosphere here. All right, let's see now. Eh, that work. Close enough. Hundred and two minutes, two minutes. Mm, since it's saying five minutes, let's do it right about there. Did pick the right engine, right? Yes, yes, I did. Uh, it's probably because its thrust to weight ratio is a little on the low side. Hmm, it might crash and burn. Let's find out. Got an orange warning light. Yep, Jib might be dying here.
And that's why we went out so far. Yay, the periapsis is out of the atmosphere, barely. We're at 89. Way. Yay. Into the atmosphere. Great. I got idiots outside again. Maybe it'll explode. It should skip off the atmosphere here. I don't mind bringing that down a little bit. I apologize if you can hear the mowing going on in the background. If I was the guy that hired this idiot, I would have fired him by now. Shows up at inconsistent times. Destroys things. He's broken our well. He's broken our air conditioner. Looked at my mother in the face and then weed eat it in the flower bed and killed all the flowers. Ooh. My Minecraft episode is now uploaded and ready to go. Oh. <laughs> uh let's go ahead and extend that. I don't think we're going to be eating the atmosphere anymore at this point. We're not going to be getting a circular orbit, but that's fine. Jesus, thing goes way out. <laughs> Halfway to the moon. That sounds like a good spot to park Jeb, doesn't it? Thirty-six. Yeah, dude, that's almost out to Minmus. <laughs> it. Oh well. The point was to get rid of Jeb, so off he goes.
<laughs> I got an encounter with the moon. That's hilarious. Oopsie. <laughs> well, well, Jeb, enjoy your new home. Bye. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. Whatever. Leave the facility. Astronaut. This really needs to have a higher all button. Grab you. There was something called a space station core. New. Or pen. Do 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 Let's find us a place to stick the big relay, because that's how we roll. Try and put it on there without blocking, like, the crew hatches or whatever. Mm, there's a docking port. Not that. There we go. So I don't want to block the solar panels either with it. Hmm. Eh, whatever. It should be fine. Subassemblers. Hmm, and I forgot about that. There's no RCS thrusters on this thing. It's well, I'll let hang off on doing that then. Ah! The uh, sudden exiting from full screen thing drives me nuts sometimes. Fuel tanks. No, 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 no. We want the... Um, these ones. Like so, because you want to be able to steer your space station. Mostly for things like, you know, making sure everything's lined up correctly. It does make a difference. That'll work. Now we can tack on the heavy lifting section of the ship. Like so. Crew. Bill. Looks good. And of course it's got the relay antenna on it because, yeah. That's one of those things that a lot of people won't think of. You might want to put a relay. I think this is going to be our last flight for this episode. Turn that on. Pull that up. And we're off. And this is why we call it our heavy lifter. I think we're going to turn the RCS thrusters on just to give it a little bit of extra oomph. Give it some cutspa. Cutspa. Something like that. Now, the funnest part is I have trouble getting things to rendezvous without mech jibs, so... When we add the next section to this, that could be interesting. Stage!
I like having my resources window open just so that we can make sure we're not going to, like, try activating something and have it not do anything because we're out of power. Because I've done that before. Many times. Oh, I could probably start leaning it over. Ah, too far, too far, too far. Ah, no, this is going to end badly. This is going to end badly. Can we pull off saving this thing? That's almost where we want it. Whew. Nope, that's not gonna work. Revert flight to lunch. Try again. You know what? Since we're at over 20 minutes, I think we'll try this in the next episode. So, I do hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, make sure to hit that like button, and if you run it are wanting to see more episodes in the future when they come out, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.